Hello everyone, welcome to HealthSite.com. Today we are going to see advantages and disadvantages of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is the short form of wireless fidelity. It is a local area wireless connectivity which allows to send data and use of internet to the electronic devices. It consists of router and modem. Router gives internet connectivity and modem gives power supply and increases bandwidth of router. Now let's see advantages of Wi-Fi. First is comfortness of Wi-Fi. With the help of wireless network, user can access information from any convenient location within network environment by means of mobile, computer and laptops. Second is flexibility. Wi-Fi can be used at any place, any time. It helps in emergency during lack of internet data on mobile. Nowadays many public places, coffee shops, restaurants and hotels etc. gives free Wi-Fi to customers. Third is capacity. Person who is connected to the wireless network can easily maintain the continuous contact with choice of network as he or she move from one location to another within the area of network. Due to high productivity of Wi-Fi, employee can work more productively because his or her work can be done easily at convenient location within the coverage area of Wi-Fi network. Fourth is deployment. Setting up the wireless network is quite difficult in initial stage compared to single access point wired network. Also wired network has additional cost of cables. Wi-Fi is advantageous over wired network because where there is no access of wired network, wireless network is a like blessings there. Fifth is expandability. Wireless network can be used by many users at the same time with router and modem and in wired network, additional user requires additional cables of connectivity. Sixth is staying under the data cap. When user is using Wi-Fi in mobile phone, data usage is not used from the data package of internet provider. Mobile internet service provider gives some data pack every month for free and don't charge it from main balance. By using Wi-Fi you can save bundle of data for emergency situation when there is no Wi-Fi nearby you. 7th is good speed. Wi-Fi gives faster speed than your mobile network. Difference is seen when multiple work is being done at same time. Downloading or uploading speed is good in Wi-Fi compared to mobile network. Load time of web pages is lesser while using Wi-Fi than mobile network. You can download large file very quickly by using Wi-Fi networks. Eighth is cost is less. At every places there are free Wi-Fi available such as at hotels, restaurants, airports, railway stations, etc. It is the most convenient way to connect your phone to internet services. Cost of Wi-Fi plan is lesser than mobile data plan because it is bounded to a particular area. Ninth is longer battery life. Good battery life of smartphone is very important. You cannot use any function of mobile like camera, internet, games if your mobile battery is too low. Battery consumption is lower in Wi-Fi compared to mobile network. As you get to good speed in Wi-Fi, it takes less time to download any file than mobile network. So less battery draining is there. Tenth is accessibility. Wi-Fi plans provide larger data bundle than mobile internet network, which can be extended more than 50 GB for one month duration or more. This means no limit of data during the use of Wi-Fi, while in the case of other hand cellular companies are giving limited data bundle in higher price and also they charge for extra data usage per KB if mobile data is used up. Now let's see disadvantages of Wi-Fi. First is speed. The speed of wireless network is far slower than wired network. Slowest wired network have speed of 20 to 100 Mbps where normal Wi-Fi has a speed of 1 to 54 Mbps. But at some specialized environment the speed is necessary and hence wired network is used there. Second is range of Wi-Fi. Typical Wi-Fi range is 802.11G network with standard router on the tens of meter which is sufficient for home use but it is not sufficient for larger area. To cover larger area you have to add additional routers and modems or additional access points so that the cost of this item will be increased. Third is reliability. As like radio frequency transmission, Wi-Fi network signals are having wide variety of interfaces as well as complex broadcasting effects. Fourth is security. To secure this consideration, encryption technologies are used to protect from unknown utilization of Wi-Fi network. Also some encryptions are there which weakens the Wi-Fi network and there is a chance of hacking of a network by encryption codes. Fifth is obstacles. Long distance cannot get enough signal of network. Sometimes signals may become dim or gets weakened when the area is surrounded by the wall, glass or any other restricted material. Surrounded antenna with aluminum foil is a good option for increasing the Wi-Fi signals. Sixth is interference. Presence of electromagnetic waves near the Wi-Fi network causes the interference in the connection of signal which weakens the Wi-Fi network. Seventh is user limitation. Only limited number of users can be connected to the network. Therefore, it is not convenient to use it in large area. Eighth is loss of data. 
During switching of the network between Wi-Fi and mobile internet, sometimes file becomes damaged during downloading. Ninth is power is necessary. Power supply to the Wi-Fi is must for using it. If sometime power supply is interrupted, then Wi-Fi gets switched off, which stops important work. Tenth is limited to devices. This technology is limited and not compatible with other cable-free connections such as GPRS, Bluetooth, UMTS, etc. If you like this video, then subscribe our channel that is Hellside.com.